Before starting Fraser Island, I'm from the south side, you want to stop in at Rainbow Beach and get refuelled. You'll also stop in at the ranger station and pick up your tickets as well and uh, then go up around the corner and get your barge fees. Stop at the Yurong Bakery, they have the best pies and pastries on Fraser Island. We're heading to Wadi Point for the night and then heading up for the second night at Sandy Cape. Lots of accommodation at Yurong if you don't like camping.
Remember, you need a four-wheel drive on Fraser Island. There's no bitumen roads. Nice to have a bath after a hot day. The SS Mahina was being towed to Japan in 1935 for scrapping when a cyclone hit and it come loose and ended up on Fraser Island. Captain Cook named Indian Head as he sailed past in 1770 and he could see the indigenous people of the island wearing big long feathered hats that uh, reminded him of the North American Indians. Remember to keep your momentum up when driving in soft sand.
Yeah, he's only, he's only scraping that side. I wouldn't be going up there too much. The group in front of us got stuck. And they were there for about half an hour, but once they were cleared, we went and luckily we, uh, we were able to drive straight through. My turn, ready to go. Between 10 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the morning, you're not allowed to drive on the beach between here and Sandy Cape because the turtles come up between November and March to lay their eggs. Here's where you gotta to start to send it and get that momentum moving. Don't back off, flat to the floor.
Those black spots you can see on the left hand side in the water, those are turtles. Here we go, back through the Gala Rocks. Bugger, take two.
Unfortunately, this is the only track to take you up to Sandy Cape. During peak season, it can get really busy here because you've got people wanting to go north and people coming south, and it gets foggy, and uh, you can be waiting hours if, to try and get through. So uh, try and uh, go during out of holiday period.
Lake Mackenzie is a freshwater lake fed by underground springs. Originally Central Station was a sacred site for the Aboriginal Butchala tribe. It was a sanctuary for the Aboriginal women to birth their babies under the rainforest canopy along the banks of the Wongolba Creek. From the 1920s to the 1950s Central Station was established as a forestry camp when there was logging on the island.
beautiful rainforest lines the sand tracks from Central Station to the ocean. Is watching the boys set up the tent. Yeah, this is a spot.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good, eh? You can feel the heat up here. You can feel the serenity. <laughs> 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 I'm like the moon like, um, what do you call it? Oh, that's dummy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>